Hello and welcome to this training series on Kofax RPA. This is RoboBear and in this episode we'll take a look at variables and types. Variables are used to store different types of data for our robots. Kofax RPA supports several types of variables such as text, integer, boolean, binary, date, etc. You can find more information about each variable type in the official user guide. You can add new variables to a robot by pressing the plus sign in the variables pane. These variables are also known as simple types as they are used to store a single value. Additionally, Kofax RPA allows us to group multiple variables together into what is known as a complex type. To create a new complex type, right click your project and select new type. Make sure you use a representative name, as this will make it easier to filter data when editing your robot. As an example, we will name this new type Invoice, and we'll use it to store invoice-specific data. Notice that our created type appears as a new file, part of our project. Once a complex type has been created, we can start adding simple variables to it. For example, we can add a short text variable named ID, a date variable named date, and an integer variable named amount. Next step is to add our newly created type to our robot. The process is the same as for a simple type. We press the plus button, find our new type in the list, give it a name, and we're ready to use it. When selecting a complex type, you will see all variables contained in it and their current values. This is especially useful in troubleshooting, as the current value will update after each step performed. The simplest way to store data in our variables is the assign step. Right-click your main workflow and add a new step. Then in the list, select the very first option, assign variable. Let's use this step to give our invoice ID variable the value of invoice1. We can see in the variables pane that our variable changes from uninitialized to the new value after executing the assign step. When working with branches and variables, you will notice that whenever a new branch is started, our variables revert to the values before the branch split. For example, our invoice ID starts as invoice1, changes to invoice2, then our second branch starts and ID reverts to invoice1. If we want our variables to keep their values regardless of robot branch, we can double click our complex or simple type and select global. In the same example, we can now see that our variable keeps its latest value when starting the new branch. This concludes our lesson on variables and types in Kofax RPA. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.